So I'm just out at the moment searching for a spot where where I think would be um, ideal for photographing badgers. Um, there'll be a few key key factors that I'm actually looking for, and I'm going to take you through what these are, and hopefully help you guys be able to find badgers in the wild without actually having to pay for that experience. Um, and to be honest with you, the best part about about it is actually tracking down and finding a, a spot on your own sort of group of badges which you can photograph um, and just the whole process. So. so the first thing you're going to want to do when trying to photograph badgers, or any animal for that fact, is um, learn about the behaviour of that animal. Um, so look it up on the internet and just find out whereabouts you're going to find them. And then after that you're going to want to go around your local area and get to know what, what type of uh, habitat you've got in your surrounding areas. Um, so this horse flight is not giving up. Um, so, for example, I'm looking for badgers. So, the habitat that I'm in at the moment, which you can see, is field behind me, and woodland, forest, trees, in that direction. Um, and what you'll, you'll seem to find is that badgers like edges, <laughs> it would seem. Every set I've found uh, before before now has always been on the edge of a woodland, such as the one I'm in now, um, and leading on to a farmland. So, so that's tip number one. I'm gonna I'm just gonna carry on my search. Uh, I think I've noticed I, I can see some tracks or something over there, which I'm just gonna go check out now. So. Let's go see. So I've just come back along the the field that I was on, uh, just to have a second look. And another thing that you wanna you wanna look out for uh, with badger specifically is somewhere around where you think that they would actually be able to dig into and build their sets. Because that's another thing about badgers is that during the daytime, because they're nocturnal, so they only come out they only come out at night. Um, and around dusk and dawn, um, they actually sleep and live in sets which are underground. So they actually need to be able to dig into the ground and and build their sets. So, like here, for example, it looks kind of, it looks flat all around. Um, however, over here, it actually you can see that the ground starts to raise. So there's potential that in that area over there. That, and also because of the trees and the forest, like I say, they, they like to build on the edge. Um, that is an ideal habitat for a badger set. It's likely that this could be a water source that potential animals, foxes, badgers might use. And another thing that comes, sort of makes me think that it might be badgers is actually, if you look down here, you can sort of make out a footprint in the actual... However, that is actually... Uh, that, that's hard to make out what that is because that could easily be, just be a dog or a small dog. So, but promising signs. So I'm just walking across the middle of the field now, and you can see the set the set of trees is just behind me over there. Um, and I'm just going to go and check. Out. You can see at the edge of the field that there's a. I don't know if you can actually see that, but there's a column of. Of long grass that sort of spreads all the way around the edge of the field and we can use this long grass to sort of just have a look and see whether or not um, we can see if the, the long grass has been pressed down from where an animal may have been walking on it for a long a long period of time because they use bat like badgers for example use the same roots every day and then you can actually quite easily see it and I've actually just come come across one right now on the on the grass 
So I'll show you that. About here, and it f goes all the way up, up there. So that's the path. Um, what you want to do now is, if you find a path like this, it could be anything. You don't know what it's going to be. It might be, uh, it could be a badger, it could be a fox, um, it could literally be anything really. Deer. Um, but it's always worth just following it and, and seeing where it leads. Um, but just remember to, res if you do come across a set, keep keep quiet and uh, and just respect that that is their home and that they will be at, in the day they're going to be sleeping. So just just try and be quiet. Um, so I followed the path and it has actually led to there's a hole that leads into the into the forest. Okay, so this is the this is the hole. And you can see that the that the fence has been pushed down by something. And uh, actually, as I'm looking in, you can see this here is a rig. That's a path that is used by an animal. You can <laughs> now. If I just walk in here, I'm going to remember to keep my voice down because it's potentially an animal's home. So you can see on the ground here that this is actually where uh, there's a path that leads up and you can see that it goes all the way up around over to there so and also in fact you can see a hole here it looks quite small at the moment but let's check it out this looks quite promising to be honest so I found a, a hole here which I believe to be or belong to a badger um, however, it doesn't look active, and the way I could just show you that that now, you can see it here. Okay, so is the reason why, and the reason why I think it's a badger is the shape. So, but I'll just show you. Essentially, this hole is like an it's like an overall overall, and. Um, and that tends to be the shape of a badger, badger set, so it's quite promising. However, it's not used. There's lots of leaves in in the actual hole, so that shows signs um, of badgers of the badgers not actually using this entrance. However, if I go further in, there might be more uh, that they actually use. I've just found another hole, which is much larger than the previous one, and you can see clear activity from it so it looks like they've actually been been digging in this hole either like last night or a couple of nights ago um, so it's fresh uh, which which tells me that this is an active site and that badgers are are here currently so yeah i'll just show you Your footprints. Um, so let me just have a look at them. Yep. See here, you can quite clearly make out uh, footprints. Um, and I'm not any master at tracking, but considering we're in a set here, it's most likely badger footprints. So let's continue looking. I have found about, so far I've just been looking around here, there's approximately 15, 15 holes that look active and I've also found a lavatory um, which is actually down, it's just down there. The lavatory is essentially a badger's toilet. They are actually quite, quite clean animals. <clears throat> And so they they have areas where they they actually go to the loo, 
and it's quite distinctive so when you're looking just look in the ground look on the ground for little holes that are, are dug and then they fill those holes with with their feces so it's actually quite they're quite easy to spot and that's another sign that the set is active um, because what what badgers will do sometimes is they'll have temporary sets so they'll have a main set and they'll have a temporary set and they use a temporary set for when they go out foraging so sometimes they'll stay at a temporary set overnight uh, when they're out foraging and then come back the next day so this tree that's behind me here this is a great opportunity for badgers and it's, it's likely that they have actually that it, it's dead and the chances are that they have been using their claws to pull away at the tree and um, pull away at the bark uh, to get access to all the, the insects that live within that within the tree so that's a good food source for the, for the badgers um, and yeah because they're, they're omnivores so they eat a mixture of meat and veg uh, and I've been told that they love peanut peanuts peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> So one more way you can tell um, if, a, if a badger set is active is just looking at the, um, the soil if it's been turned up recently you can tell if it's been if it's fresh um, so if you look here it's sort of all dark 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 and then there just here it's very light light soil and large heart and this light soil goes all the way up over to over to there so it's increasingly likely that this set is active and so yeah i'm just really happy i'm really really happy that we found this so so i just walked out um out of the away from the set so i can talk a bit louder now but the set is just down there um and what i'm thinking is i actually from this point of view here from where i'm stood now you have a clear sort of view down onto the set apart from all the trees they're actually blocking your line of vision um, but I can kind of see through them I can see from here I can actually see the that big fresh 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 hole that with all the turned up soil that I showed you um, so it's likely that they'll come out of that one and also here's some regular paths that they use so I need to just get an idea of where they go and from there eventually and also I need to build up their trust so because they're going to be able to smell me so this is a good starting point just from here this is actually a, a public footpath just here so, so <clears throat> I'm quite within my rights to be here it's not you know I'm not out of bounds or in someone else's territory or anything like that and um, oh there's just a squirrel uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, but he's in the tree. He's in the tree. Okay, he's gone. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go home now, get some dinner, and then later tonight I'm gonna come back with my camera, which I've got actually at the moment, and see if we can get any photos. So <clears throat> I just headed back out, and um, I'm on my way back over to the the badger set that we found earlier and <clears throat> yeah so it's about eight eight o'clock now which, which means we've got around an hour and 20 minutes until sunset so <clears throat> I'm just gonna get to that spot uh, which I which I think will, will be good for spotting the badgers and set up make sure I'm there early so that I don't disturb them um, and then f from that point on, it'll just be staying quiet, uh, waiting and just watching and hoping that the, the badgers come out. So fingers crossed tonight, we'll see them. <laughs> so the entrance to the badger set is just over, just over there in, oh, in those tree line, in that tree line. Um, but what I'm going to do is just walk around uh, up here and around to the back. And yeah, and that's where I'll have my access. Okay, so I'm in position now, and um, just, it's just a matter of wait, waiting now to wait for the badgers to come out. At which point I'll sit silently until they pass, um, or if the sun goes down and it gets dark, then I'll be leaving.
actually using this tree here as, as cover. Um, I'll keep that here so that hopefully they don't see me. But I just have a very strong sense of smell, which is how they how they would detect me. Uh, most likely anyway, from their sense of smell. Um, so the best thing to do is not spray any deodorants or aftershaves on. there isn't actually any wind, so it's very still, so it's unlikely that they'll pick up my scent. Alright, so I wasn't actually able to obviously talk whilst I was waiting for the badges. Um, so I'll just take you through what actually happened. I, I sat down um, a good like 50 meters or so from where I knew that the hole was that they were using at the moment. Um, about an hour before sunset. Um, and as you can tell, it's still sunset at the moment, but there's about 10 minutes left of it. So, uh, what happened? There, a, a random person walked right over the set half an hour in and I thought that was it there's no chance now that would have disturbed them and they're, they're not going to come out but lo and behold 10 minutes later as I was about to put my jumper on because I was getting cold I look up just as I'm going to put my jumper on and there's a badger right, like right in front of me and it's just scratching, just scratching away and I was just like, you know, I wasn't ready at all really, because uh, my, cause, well, because I was putting my jumper on. And um, then he ran off down a path, he seemed to not even realise I was there. So, oh, that was it, I didn't put my jumper on, I got my camera ready and I waited for him to come back. He came back and then, then he started sniffing in the air and, and I, I thought, oh, he, he smelt me. And, and that is essentially what happened, is he did... In the, he did smell me, um, and and then he just he just went back into into the hole, and I didn't see him again for the rest of the evening. But I decided to leave a little bit early because I didn't I felt like I disturbed them a little bit, so I felt kind of bad, and I'm I'm just backing off though. But I mean, yeah, didn't expect it. Saw the badger, and it was awesome. So if you like the um, if you like this video and you want me to do more like this, then please uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll be making more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.